So last night I was at work and I had a thought. The concept of YouTuber doesn't actually make any sense whatsoever. And you might be asking at this point, well, aren't you a YouTuber? Don't you make YouTube videos? I'm going to say no, I'm not a YouTuber because I am a video producer, content creator, whatever you want to call me. I don't look at YouTube as anything more than a video distribution platform, and I don't think that you should look at it as anything besides that either. And today I'm going to explain why I think at least the idea of a YouTuber makes literally no sense from a business perspective and makes no sense from a video distribution perspective either. So if you're new to the channel, you know what to do, and let's jump right into it. So don't get me wrong, I do think that making online video is absolutely awesome. I love doing it myself. But as I said, I don't think that using YouTube as anything more than video distribution makes any sense. So I'll give you a few examples and maybe you'll be able to understand what I'm trying to say. So let's say that you have a friend, we'll call him Billy. He wants to be a musician, he's going to call himself something like Banjo Billy. So Banjo Billy says, I'm going to release all of my music on Spotify. Now, if you were a good friend, you would say to Billy, well, what about Google Music? What about iTunes? What about Amazon Music? And all the other music distribution platforms that exist. And you know what? You'd probably be right to ask this question. So let's go with another example then. So you have another friend. His name is Timmy. He wants to make a podcast. It's going to be called something like Timmy's Tech Tidbits. And he says, I'm going to release my podcast on Apple Podcasts. So if you were a good friend, you'd probably say, well, what about Spotify? What about Google Podcasts? What about Stitcher? And you know what? You'd probably be right to ask this question. So why is it that when it comes to video distribution and someone says, I'm going to release my videos on YouTube or I'm going to release my videos on BitChute or Library or any other platform, no one bats an eye. So if someone says to you, I'm going to release my videos on YouTube, well, what about Library? What about Daily Motion? What about BitChute? What about Vimeo? What about BitTube? What about Steemit? What about DTube? What about all the other video platforms that exist? Why is it that people, when they want to make video, will just release on YouTube? I know this isn't the case for everyone. I'm someone who does release on multiple platforms, and more and more people are doing it. But there are still so many creators who rely entirely on YouTube or rely entirely on some other platform, and I have no idea why this is the case. So like with the example of being a musician or with being a podcaster, I don't think it makes any sense to just rely on one distribution platform. And I'm not saying this because maybe you'll get banned from it or anything like that. The reason I'm saying this is because there's users on these platforms who don't use the other platforms. So with the example of Spotify or with Google Music, I have a Spotify account, I don't have a Google Music account. If you release your music on Google Music, I'm never going to listen to it. Or if you just release it on iTunes or Amazon Music, I'm never going to listen to it because I only have a Spotify account. Or with the idea of podcasts, if you release on anything besides Apple Podcasts, I'm probably never going to hear it because that's what all of the little clients actually scrape from. So if you just release on Google Podcasts or just release on Stitcher or Spotify, I'm never going to hear your podcast. And it's the same with video distribution as well. So most people are on YouTube, but the people who use something like Library or BitChute, a lot of those people only use those platforms. So if you're not on those platforms, you're just not able to get to those users. So as I said, I don't know why this is the case, but I do have a couple of ideas that maybe will answer the question. I don't know. If you're a creator or an aspiring creator who only relies on one platform, let me know why you do that. And if you completely disagree with my arguments in the end, then that's entirely fine, but I hope that I maybe can change some people's minds about the way they should be distributing video. So, obviously, I don't have all the answers. I'm still a very small creator, but I do think it makes far more sense from a business perspective and also a video distribution perspective to just be on multiple platforms. So I think there are a couple of reasons why people do this. Some of them are more important than others. Some of them might be completely off, but here's the ones that I've come up with. I've got five here, so let's just go through them. The first one is that you only want to upload where the majority of people are. Now, this doesn't make any sense from a podcast or a music perspective. So I'm pretty sure that Spotify is the biggest music distribution platform, and I'm pretty sure that Apple Podcast is the biggest podcast distribution platform. I could be wrong on that. It doesn't really matter which platform is the biggest. The point is that in those industries, people don't just release on the biggest platform, even though, say, like Breaker. Breaker has like 10,000 downloads on Android. 
people still release their podcast on Breaker or Stitcher, which I'm not sure what the user base is. I know it's far smaller than Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts. And people like Joe Rogan still release their podcasts there. Or you have tons and tons of other little podcast platforms that massive podcasts like Joe Rogan and like Sam Harris, they release their podcasts on these platforms even though nobody really uses them. And then it's the same with music. Like you've got all these tiny music platforms and big musicians still release their music on them. So I don't really think that argument holds any water because even though something like Library only has a bit over 100,000 users and then BitChute, I'm not sure how big BitChute is, I know it's a bit bigger, or uh, BitTube, for example. BitTube has like 40,000 users. If you're following the argumentation I laid out before, it would still make sense to release your videos on those platforms, even though the user base is small, just because there's still users on those platforms who might want to watch your videos. So maybe it's the idea of misunderstanding how Google handles duplicate content. Now, the way that I understand it is, when Google lowers the ranking of duplicate content, it's more about the page level. So if you're a journalist, I can entirely understand why you wanna release with one platform because the way that duplicate content basically works is it's a comparison between the, I guess the entire content of the page. So with something like an article, that's going to make up the majority of the page. So if you have an article placed in multiple locations, then that's gonna look very duplicated. But for a video, it's usually just one little embedded tag and that makes up a very, very tiny part of the web page. Now, I guess you could be right that at some point, Google could change this. That could possibly happen. But if they did that, that would completely destroy the music industry and completely destroy podcasting. So I don't see any reason why they would do that. Obviously, if they wanted to be incredibly anti-competitive, which I guess they could do, but that would very much open them up to a lawsuit by trying to completely destroy all of the competing platforms. If they're happy to do that, then yeah, they would destroy the music industry and destroy the podcasting industry. But because I don't think that's the case, I don't think this is gonna happen with video either. Now, an argument I can get behind is if you don't like certain other platforms, like say that you have a moral problem with BitChute or with library or some various other platform. If you don't want to support a platform because of that, that's entirely fine. But I can't imagine that you have a problem with every single other video distribution platform that exists. And I know that a lot of the big creators on YouTube don't like YouTube. So you can't really use that argument either. If you don't like YouTube and you don't like BitChute, just put your videos on BitChute anyway. It's not really going to change how you feel about distributing your video. So it could possibly be a time issue. So for the smaller channels, I can entirely understand this. Like when I wasn't really making much money from my content, I really couldn't justify putting my content anywhere else because it is a little bit annoying. But the nice thing about a lot of these new platforms that are coming up is that you can sync directly from YouTube. Now I'm not gonna promote specifically like library or BitTube or anything like that in this video, but there are platforms that actually let you sync your video from YouTube to other places. And I think that as time goes on, more and more of these sort of platforms are going to pop up and it will make distributing video even easier. And at that point, I don't really see any point of just being on YouTube because it'll be so easy to be everywhere that you just should do it if you wanna be in front of as many people as possible. And the last thing is that it could potentially be that it's just a normal thing in the music industry to distribute your music to multiple places. So if we go back to when we were using CDs or we could go even further back to like records, at that point, music labels wouldn't say, I'm just going to sell my music at this one store because that would be a terrible business decision. Now, there might obviously be an exclusive time window, but in the end, it's going to be released in multiple stores because that's just the most sensible way to get your content in front of the most users possible. So it just makes sense to be on all of those platforms and if you're selling music, to be in all of those store places. So let's just take this analogy back to video then. So you might have timed exclusives on say library or BitTube or BitChute or whatever platform it is. It doesn't really matter what it is. And you might have various bonus content that's exclusive to a platform. Like you'd have say, I don't know, a bonus poster that comes with a music CD if you buy it from whatever store. So you might have those exclusive bonuses for one platform, but the general content you're gonna release is going to be released everywhere. And this just makes the most sense from a distribution perspective. Now, 
If I'm entirely wrong, and I, I potentially could be, let me know down below, but I don't see how I could possibly be wrong here because it just makes far more sense in my eyes to be in front of as many eyes as possible. Obviously, the smaller platforms, you're not gonna make much money, or you might make nothing off of them, but it still makes sense to be in front of as many people as possible if you want your content to be seen by as many people as possible. So let me know what you think about that down below, and yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about in this video. So if you liked this video, remember to smash that like button and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, actually, they're probably not going to be like this. They'll be more Linuxy stuff. But if you want to see more videos from this channel, remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. I'm now aiming for 10,000 subs and any help would be really appreciated. Up on that corner, I've got the playlist this video's in. So go check that out if you want to see other videos like this. Down below, I've got my social platforms, so my Discord, my Telegram, and all of that sort of stuff. So go there if you want to get video updates or you want to chat with me. I've also got my support links down below, so if you want to support the channel, then I've got a Patreon and all of those other sorts of things. Go check those out, but obviously, if you don't want to support the platform, then you don't have to. It's entirely optional, but any help will be really appreciated. And lastly, I've got my alternate video platforms. So I am on BitTube and Library at this point, but I'm probably going to get like a BitChute account as well. I have made a Steemit account, but... It's a little bit of a pain to use Steemit, and same with DTube. I'll have a look into them, but for now, it is YouTube, BitTube, and Library. So go check out my alternate platforms if you want to see my videos somewhere that isn't YouTube. So I reckon that's pretty much everything for me, and I'm out.